How's it going? This is Grits and Gravy and welcome to the video. This is going to be like a, a video series of beat making tips specifically for FL Studio. This is uh, basically the first video and we're going to be doing uh, double time. We're going to set up FL Studio and we're going to expand the playlist view. Uh, so for example, if you're making a beat and it's 70 beats per minute, this is a really good thing to do. You want to expand the, um, the view and basically double it so you have more room to create your beat. So let me show you how to do that. The first thing you want to do is set up your snap to one sixth if it's not already set up to one sixth. Then you want to go to the piano roll and select your instrument and click play and we're going to listen to this real quick. Now this is on 70. When you first open F FL Studio, it should be set up something like this. What we're going to do is we're going to double the speed. What this is going to do, it's going to sound faster, but really all it's doing is giving us more room to operate. So now I'm going to zoom in. I'm just going to click this and scroll it back to the left and you see how the amount of space doubled. You see the, the squares, they doubled. So now when I hit play, and now I'm just playing a generic clap sound. Now it sounds more like a, like a hip hop beat. It's faster, and we have double the space to operate. And then you just wanna quantize whatever you record. So one tip, if you see how you click on the actual piano roll and drag down, it will select everything to the right of it. And then you can just drag it back to the left. That's a really easy way to get everything the same size you want. See, now we have all these squares, I guess you could say, that we can place uh, instruments in or we can place sounds in. And then you can make them whatever size you want. You can go even smaller. And this is where you start to create like those crazy drum patterns that you hear in a lot of uh, trap music, like Dirty South music or whatever. So I'm gonna get more into that in another video, but this is basically just showing you how to create that room to, to create beats like that. So that's it for this video on uh, Double Time. I'm gonna be doing a lot more videos, so make sure to check those out uh, when I upload them. Make sure to subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in the next video. All right, peace.